What is going on everyone? It's your boy Wayne, the train, and I'm back with another video for you guys. Today, this video is about supplements. Uh, people always ask me all the time, do they need supplements? Uh, which one should they take? And that's not really the question I feel like they should be asking. Uh, the question is like, uh, what, what are you trying to supplement? I heard someone else put it like way more gracefully <laughs> than me. They basically said uh, you should only use supplements to try to fix a problem. And the people that are out there just taking supplements before a problem arises, they're basically just spinning their wheels. I thought that was pretty genius. Uh, I think the guy was Sam Sheeter. I don't know if I'm saying his last name right, but that's a good point. Like a lot of people take supplements that they don't need. Supplements are toolboxes in a kit, and you only pull a tool out when you need to use said tool. So if you're taking supplements before you need them, it's like, why? Just why? So the first question before you ask yourself with supplements is uh, do I have a deficiency? Do I have a need to take supplements? Is there a lacking in my diet? Is there a reason a lacking in my performance? What, what, why? What is your reason? And then after you get to figure out your reason, the next question is not should I take supplements? It's, it's can I source this from whole foods? Because whole foods are always going to be better at the end of the day. They're healthier, they're easier on your body, uh, they're more natural. I don't know why I made that face. Uh, they're more natural, but, uh, and then, what am I going to say about uh, supplements? With the supplements, unless it's a really reputable company, you never really know what you're getting. Uh, especially if you don't have like these fact sheets, or whatever they're called, the, the makeup sheet of whatever is in said supplement, you don't know what you're getting. These companies can use the lowest grade uh, formula, the lowest grade exception to whatever this supplement is, and it may not be the best quality. It, it may not even, you may not even be absorbing it fully. You may not be, it may be degrading by the time you get it because it's not kept in the right conditions because it's not the best quality. You don't know. So before you take any supplement, you always want to try and fix it with whole foods first. And then lastly, once you get to the supplements, you're going to ask yourself, do I have a problem? How is my supplement fix it? Is this a long-term solution or a short-term solution? And then uh, what, what is the supplement? Like... Uh, when I first signed out I was anemic uh, years and years ago I used to take iron supplements and then once I started taking iron supplements to like combat the issue I was having I was really tired during the day uh, I started eating more spinach and more leafy greens so I was on the supplements tried to fill it in with my food and eventually I just stopped buying the supplements and just kept eating it in my food and I haven't had said problems since so I'm guessing you know I fixed that deficiency with a whole food and that's the goal you want to be as whole, as natural as we can. That'll help you live longer, and it'll save our bodies for when we really get destructive later on down the years. <laughs> but even then, like a lot of supplements aren't necessary. Like uh, people love pre-workout, and pre-workout is it's just souped up caffeine, man. Like just drink some black coffee. Like it's way cheaper. It probably tastes better. Uh, you can brag and you can be like, what is that called? That snogger. You can be that one friend that's like really fancy, like, I only drink black coffee because I like the flavor. <laughs> so like, you could do pre-workout, it's not necessary. And to be honest, I probably should do more research, but this is just like my personal anecdotal experience. Uh, sometimes when you're on that pre, like if you take it to the dome, like no water, like your heart just, it's just, it's just beating so fast. Like, <laughs> like you're in Jumanji, like and I think it's in the opening scene, like your heart, that's not fun, yo. <laughs> like, I've had to like call like a like a real break during the workout because I feel like my heart was beating out of my chest. I don't necessarily think it's um the best to artificially uh, raise your heart rate. I mean, that's what adrenaline is for. So just learn to get yourself hype. Take coffee. Uh, you don't need supplements. Even like oh, that was a long ass tangent to say you don't need supplements. So excuse me. But even like protein, you can source all your protein from whole foods, from milk, eggs, the diet heavy, and meat. You don't need a supplement. A supplement is to help you. But so many people use supplements as a crutch, and they still don't do what they're supposed to do. And then they're like, why don't I get results? It's because you're not doing what you're supposed to do. Even creatine. Creatine, while it is one of the most popular supplements and can be useful, uh, I guess if you're not, if you eat a lot of fish, eat a lot of salmon in your diet, at whatever other fish are, uh, omega threes, you'll have enough. Uh, man, you'll have enough natural creatine in your body, but like most people don't. 
And so that's when the supplement comes into use. But even still, again, you want to find that balance between supplements and whole foods. And I'm starting to rant, so I'm going to end this video. Just remember, before you need any supplements, ask yourself, why do I need this supplement? Can I source it with whole foods? What is my plan? Am I going to take this supplement for the rest of my life? And how does this help me? So, there you go, guys. Get out there and get it. Uh, yeah, I was watching that video back and I realized I said uh, don't take the supplement pre-workout to then go take another supplement with caffeine and yeah, I said it, but you guys get the point. Uh, you don't need a supplement all souped up with a whole bunch of stuff. You don't need a whole bunch of chemicals. Uh, even with like regular supplements, you can go out there uh, at like balksupplements.com. You can buy uh, natural ingredients. Like you can buy like clean carb powder, like cyclic dextrin without all that other stuff uh, added in. So you guys get my point. That's, that's why I love you guys, because you're awesome.